Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Grade 3 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So, in the previous chapter, we have learned about estimating the sum. Today, we'll learn about how to find the estimated difference of a subtraction. So, to find the estimated difference, what do we do first? We have to first round off both the minimum as well as the subtrahend to the nearest 10, 100,000 or so on. Then find the difference of the rounded off values. Then we will get the estimated difference. Let's see that with an example. So the first question is estimate the difference by rounding off to the nearest 10. So what is the question here? 438 minus 212. We are asked to find the estimate by rounding off to the nearest 10. So let's first round off the minimum. This is the greater number here. So this is the minimum. So rounding off the minimum to the nearest 10 gives us. Uh, here in the ones place we have 8. So what is the uh, number we get after rounding off to the nearest 10? So this, since this is more than 5, we have to add 1 to the rounding digit and make the digits to the right of it to 0, right? So 438 rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you 440. Now let's round off the subtrahend to 112. The rounding digit is 1 or the tenth digit is 1. Uh, to the right of it we have 2, it's less than 5. So we keep the rounding digit as it is and change the digits to the right of it to zeros. So that makes this one 1 itself and this one is 0. So 212 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives us 210. Here we have the numbers. Now let's find out the difference. Here we have the actual numbers. So let's find out uh, the actual difference in this case. So 8 minus 2 gives you 6. 3 minus 1 gives you 2. 4 minus 2 gives you 2. So this is the actual difference. Let's see what is the estimated difference. So these are the estimated minimum and the subtrahend. 0 minus 0, it is 0 itself. 4 minus 1, it is 3. And 4 minus 2, it is 2. See, this is the estimated difference. And this is the actual difference. Here, the estimated difference is more than the actual difference, but close to it. Right? So, I hope this is clear to you. See, we have the answers here. Now, let's see a different example. Estimate the difference by rounding up to the nearest 100. So, in the previous question, we rounded off to the nearest 10. So, this is the minimum 4238. Here we are asked to round off to the nearest 100. So the rounded digit is the hundreds digit or here it is 2. To the right of it we have 3 which is less than 5. So let's keep the rounded digit as it is and change the digits to the right of it to zeros. So that will give 4200 as the rounded off value. Now what about the subtrahend? The subtrahend here is 2472. Here the rounded digit is 4. To the right of it, we have 7, which is more than 5. So this one will be changed to 5, that is 4 plus 1. And to the right of it, digits will become zeros. So what is the rounded off value? The rounded off value is 2500. Now let's find out the difference. These are the actual numbers. Let's find out the actual difference first. So 8 minus 2, we have 6. 3 minus 7, we cannot do, so we borrow. So from here we borrow, making this one and this one 13 tenths. So 13 tenths minus 7 tenths give you 6 tenths. 1 minus 4, we cannot do, we borrow. So this one becomes 3, this becomes 11 hundreds. 11 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 7 hundreds. Now 3 thousands minus 2 thousands, it is 1000. So here the actual difference is 1766. Now these are the estimated or uh, sorry the rounded off values. Let's find out the difference. 0 minus 0, 0. Again 0. 2 minus 5 we cannot do. We borrow. So this becomes 3. This becomes 12. 12 minus 5 it is 7. 
3 minus 2 1 so here we have the estimated difference in this case the actual difference is more than the estimated difference but it is close here we have the numbers i hope this is clear to you so you have to go through the topic estimating the difference in page number 47 of your textbook then move on to exercise 3.7 you have to do the question 1b and also the question 2b you can pause the video finish the activity and come back hope you finished doing the activity now let's discuss the answers and the first question is already done here 358 minus 124 you have to estimate the difference by rounding off the given numbers to the nearest 10 and here 358 rounded up to the nearest 10 will give you how much 360 why the rounded digit is 5 to the right of it you have 8 which is more than 5 so you add 1 to the rounding digit and to the right of it we change to 0 so that gives you 360 and 124 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives you 120. So, the difference of the rounded off values give you the estimated difference as 240. Let's see the second question 424 minus 118. So, first let's round off the minimum. 424 rounded off to the nearest 10 gives you what? It gives you 420. Now, what about the subtrahend 118? 118 rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you how much? 120. So, what is the difference? Let's subtract the minimum and the subtrahend. 0 minus 0, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. 4 minus 1, it is 3. So, what is the estimated difference? It is 300. Here it is 420 is 120 and the estimated difference is 300. Now let's see the second question the 2b for that the first question is already done there and we are asked to estimate the difference by rounding up the given numbers to the nearest 100 in this case. The first question 2834 what is the uh, value we get after rounding up to the nearest 100? The rounded digit is 8, to the right of it we have 3, which is less than 5. Let's keep 8 as it is and to the right of it we change to zeros. So that gives you 2800 and the subtrahend 1345. Rounded digit is 3, to the right of it we have 4. So that gives you the rounded off value 1300 and the difference of the rounded off values give you the estimated difference of 1500. Now let's see question B. 4,639. Here the rounded digit is 6. To the right of it you have 3 which is less than 5. So these are changed to zeros and the rounded digit is kept as it is. So that gives you the estimate sorry the rounded off value as 4,600. What about the subtrahend? 2,118. Here also this is the rounded digit 2. To the right of it, you have a number less than 5. So, these are changed to zeros. That gives you 2200. Now, let's subtract the rounded off values. 0 minus 0, 0. Again, 0. 6 minus 2, it is 4. 4 minus 2, it is 2. So, that is the estimated difference. It is 4600 here, 2200 here. And the estimated difference is 2400. I hope your answers are correct. Now, you can go to the topic once again. And you have to finish off the rest of the questions. That is question 1C, 1D and also 2C and 2D. And right below that, you can see the heading parts. Just go to the question and do accordingly. So, I hope this is clear to you. That's all for today. We will meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.